How do we make more power with no boost controller? Today we're gonna to be going over the horsepower and torque numbers that my 4.8 liter LS made on the dyno. A quick refresher, this is a stage one cam, 4.8 liter LS, 862 heads. We're running a dual plane intake manifold, two inch carburetor spacer. We're running a 650 blow through carburetor that I built. We're running a 7875 turbocharger and we are not running an intercooler. A couple other notes is that I'm running this on 14 degrees of timing and that is total timing from like 3500 on up i'm also running this on 33 inch tall tires and a dana 60 in the rear we're also keeping an eye on our air fuel ratios through our daytona sensors we go wideband as for the fuel system we are still running the stock silverado fuel pump as you guys can see here but we are running that fuel pump through a jms fuel max with the addition of the fuel max, we haven't quite reached the limit of this fuel pump yet. So we're definitely going to be putting more power through the stock fuel pump. As for the rest of the drivetrain, we are running a Toyota R150 five-speed manual transmission. That's being held together with the engine through a Center Force 2 high-performance clutch. I completely smoked the old clutch, so the new Center Force clutch is holding really, really well right now. All right, so moving on to the horsepower numbers themselves, we are looking at 265 horsepower to the rear wheels. Keep in mind that this is a 4.8 liter on 33 inch tall tires, and we made about 296 pound feet of torque. We did a couple runs at nine pounds and they ended up about the same. We'll have another run right here that we did and it basically followed the exact same trend at the exact same boost level. So that's pretty much what it makes at nine pounds to the rear wheels on 33 inch tall tires. Then we increased the boost to 14 pounds. After we increased the boost, power jumped up to 444 pound-feet of torque and horsepower rose to 397, so about three horsepower shy from 400 wheel, and that was at 14 pounds. I'm gonna show you guys the last run that we did, but it wasn't a perfect run, and I'm going to go ahead and explain why. So basically, our boost controller pretty much failed at the beginning of the run, so everything, as soon as the run starts, probably right around here, probably around 4,000 RPMs, 3,000 RPMs, the boost controller goes crazy and it just starts to just go haywire and we don't actually know what the boost level actually was. From what we can tell, this was 20 to 22 pounds of boost pressure and we actually had a rising boost curve so it just kept adding more and more boost as the run kept going. Our fuel ratios were still within spec so there wasn't a problem there. Like I mentioned before, our ignition timing is at 14 degrees so in case something like this did happen, we were already prepared for it so nothing bad happened to the engine but I can't really verify this run because we don't have a confirmed boost number. We do have a confirmed horsepower number. So for our horsepower numbers, we are looking at 529 horsepower. And as for torque, we are looking at around 504 pound feet of torque. The only reason I couldn't keep turning up the boost is because my boost controller has failed. So as soon as I take care of that, we're gonna be pushing this 4.8 to see how much it'll make. In the meantime, we're gonna be making videos at this lower boost level, eight pounds, and we're gonna be making some consistent back-to-back -back runs so we can relate that to anyone building something at eight pounds of boost. So that's all for today. I will see you guys all in the next one. Night Wrencher, out.